Yeah, this game still rocks, but wouldn't it be nice to have the modern Osu maps on this? Now of course some of you might ask, why are you trying to create a game for this 13 year old console? The 3DS has some funny specs compared to today's standards. It only has a dual core 286 MHz CPU, 128 megs of RAM, and only 6 MB of VRAM. Now these limitations just piped my interest. There are some fully 3D games running on this system at 60 FPS. Super Smash Bros is one example. Now how do these developers do this? To find an answer to that question, I set on, on a quest to create a game with these limitations in mind. I wanted to try something new, not just some RPG or another clone of Minecraft. At last, I decided to program an OSU compatible rhythm game. OSU, or OS, is a game where you need to click, drag, or rotate objects at the right time according to the rhythm of the background song. Everything needs to be timed perfectly. The game engine should not have any hitches, and everything should be rendered smoothly for the game to be considered playable. To guarantee smooth gameplay on older, less powerful hardware, I decided to use C++ as my programming language, and also a version of Raylib, an OpenGL-based graphics library, which I modified according to my needs. And of course, I set it as a goal to not look at any code of any other Austin clones, or also itself. This project is basically a kind of complete reverse engineering of Osu, just based on my observations about the game. You can see the earliest versions of this project here. In 2021, when I first started the project, I mainly focused on the parser that reads the bitmaps and converts it to a format which I can use effectively. After that, I set up the graphics and sound libraries and tried to see if I could make circles show up on the screen. The first baby steps. After doing that and patching some bugs in the parser code, I came to the part where I spent the most time. Creating the sliders. Possibly to save space, also calculates the shape of the sliders before a bitmap is played. That means that I cannot just take the data in the bitmap file and put it on the screen. The bitmap file only contains some points and the type of the slider. There are four main types of sliders in Osu. Linear, Catmull Rom, Perfect Circle, and Bezier. As you might have guessed, linear sliders are just lines from one point to another. The Catmull Rom sliders are types of sliders where the algorithm, named Catmull Rom, <laughs> is used to smooth out the points and create a curvy shape that has equal distance points. Perfect circles are just arcs defined by three points. These three types of sliders weren't that much of a challenge, they are just basic math. After some quick debugging, I had them all working. Bezier sliders, however, they are different beasts. Finally, after a lot of debugging and optimizing, I managed to create an algorithm that can generate sliders in real time, which reduced the maximum RAM usage by a lot. In some maps, for example, the original OSU client requires over 900 megabytes of RAM. That definitely doesn't fit our RAM budget of 128 megabytes. My clone, on the other hand, for the same map, requires only 100 megabytes on a Windows machine. There are also other types of issues present when you try to create a rhythm game. The timings are one of them. 
Even a deviation of 20 milliseconds is noticeable when you are fully focused on the game with your eyes and ears. After trying over a hundred maps, I managed to nail the timing too. Of course, I am still developing the project. There are a lot of places where I can optimize the code even further in order to make it run faster, and I am also in the middle of porting the whole project to the 3DS. After all this programming though, I can freely say that I have learned a lot about programming, especially how to write fast code. And in the future I will be creating more projects like this, not just in programming, but also in other areas too. Thanks for watching till the end and I will see you in the next video. Bye.